Hello Pokemon trainers, ghouls and gals, Zombie B here. How are you today? So who doesn't love Pokemon? At least here on my channel you better love Pokemon. <laughs> and who doesn't love zombies? The idea of zombies has been around for a long ass time, traditionally being mindless slaves or the solemn dead. George A. Romero reinvented the zombies in the film Night of the Living Dead, the undead, flesh-eating freaks we know today. The most appealing or unappealing factor is that anyone could be a zombie, with any number of potential fucked up appearances design-wise. With the simple yet rather limited guidelines, anyone could be a zombie, from your friends and family to your favourite pop culture characters. There are also a lot of different kinds of zombies, from the slow-moving kinds to the newer aggressive kinds in more fast-paced movies these days. So. What about zombie Pokemon? I love the adorable creations of Game Freak, but let's hypothetically zombify a bunch. I have a specific scenario in my head that I'll be talking about in this video. Since there are so many different kinds of zombies out there, the style for this particular video is based off one of my favourite zombie movies, Return of the Living Dead. This movie has a classic but uniquely intelligent kind of zombie, which I find really entertaining and cool. So in this Pokemon world where zombies have taken over, if your very own team turn, they still remain loyal and capable. So this isn't my Pokemon zombie fighting team, this is my literal team of zombie Pokemon. The whole thing's based on a random drawing I did a little while ago, so... How the Pokemon world got to be this way, I have no idea, but trainers and Pokemon alike are succumbing to the infection, and it's a free-for-all. So, excluding legendaries, what Pokemon would I want on my team? So without any more dilly-dallying, fucking let's, let's go. Mawile is and always will be my number one favourite Pokemon, so in any case, she's gonna be there with me. She's a still fairy powerhouse when she wants to be, and similar to Ash's Pikachu, she will just be there. But having a big still gaping Maw would definitely come in handy. That brings a whole new meaning to Zombie Bite. I probably could have drawn a nicer zombie picture of her, but for now this munted little one will do. Simple, I'm just choosing more while because she my bae. Next, however, I knew I had to come up with a psychic type Pokemon. One of the biggest issues to overcome in zombie movies is always telling where the zombies are, if a horde is lurking around the corner, or even if other humans can be trusted. A psychic Pokemon will just make this so much more easier, acting as an ESP scout for around the corner, or just using general telepathy. Yes, that time in The Walking Dead when I had to choose between saving the fucking kid from the zombies, or saving the guy from under the tractor because of the kid, I could just pick them all up and then kill the kid anyway. So anyway, I chose Espeon in this situation. Being one of my favourite evolutions and psychic type in general, she was an easy choice. When I drew this picture, the Espeon just stood out to me. And she evolves with happiness and friendship, so surely she wouldn't eat me. Also, the zombie Eevee is my logo. So when considering all these things, for some reason grass type came to mind. Grass and bug type just seem like they would fit right in the zombie apocalypse. Maybe it's because they remind me of the cordyceps zombies from The Last of Us, or just that I can easily picture moss and mushrooms growing on dead things, but I wanted one on my side. And since I recently got myself a shiny Roselia, she was the perfect candidate. When you think grass, sometimes you think purity, so who knows, maybe, maybe she could be a help. But you also definitely think she could just stun spore a whole fucking horde while we made a getaway. So here's a fun thought. Ghosts can't turn into zombies. Well awesome, that means pretty much all ghost Pokemon are off the cards. So really I had the choice of just about any ghost Pokemon, but being my favourite type, it was actually a really difficult decision. So it came down to a few. Chandelure is my favourite, but being illuminated would put us at a disadvantage. So eventually I came up with Banet. In the drawing here I had Mimikyu. So really this is a vague answer, but the thought process was the same for both. They're both lovable and huggable looking ghost Pokemon. Plus, Bannet has the Mega Evolution. Oh, I can't choose. So until I can get my own Mimikyu and make a proper decision, for now it's just one of the two. In any case, a ghost companion in the zombie world would just be perfect. So next, naturally, I wanted to think of a powerhouse Pokemon. Something big and bulky that I could ride on land or in the sky. It could help with intimidation or, obviously, travel. Personally, whenever I think of a Pokemon I want to ride, not in that way, I think Hydreigon. Maybe it's just a kid in me that thinks it's the coolest looking thing ever. Or how cute and intriguing its evolution line is. Or maybe it's just that ever since my first black game I've had the same Hydreigon by my side through the whole thing. He's a big tanky Ghidorah looking beast with a cool colour palette and wicked design. He's a dragon type. Dragons and zombies aren't often seen together. Game of Thrones yes, but even there we haven't seen them together yet. And just riding a dragon through an apocalyptic scene is so appealing to me. He's almost always on my team in general, so he's in my zombie team as well. Also we can learn an array of fire type moves, which would come in handy and just 
burning shit down or keeping warm, obviously. So that's five down, and I figured I needed a water type. Whenever I'm questing on a new region, a water type is always an essential one. Yes, IGN. It's not often seen in zombie movies, but water zombies are actually a threat, you know, they, they can't drown. So who's a really cool looking, intimidating, awesome and agile as fuck looking water Pokemon? One that can help defend me and my team and help me get around? Personally, I thought Cubby Tops. From his appearance, I thought he would have a higher base speed, but again, from his appearance, he just looks slick and awesome and like he could be really handy. Get it? Fuck. <laughs> With the help of Zombie Espeon, the two could clear out a shopping mall of zombies easily while we looted. Water type Pokemon have always, with some exceptions, been very cute and elegant looking Pokemon. And a lot of them are, let's face it, fish. They would probably just flop around in a real zombie scenario. So yes, this blade-armed, watery beast would be a zombie Pokemon of mine. Plus he just looks cool. So as far as my line of thinking went, I'm pretty happy with my selection. It's not the most thought-out list of anything ever. It was just really fun to think about. Choosing them was actually really difficult, and it's fucking Pokemon, they're all gonna be awesome. This list was purely for the fun of it. If you want to get really critical in your thinking, please let me know in the comments what Pokemon you would want in the event of world zombification. Thanks so much for watching everyone, hopefully more Pokemon videos will be coming out in the near future. Bye bye! Mwah.